Well, hey guys, got uh, nice weather today. Oh, I gotta go to work. What do you imagine? <laughs> it's like every day that you gotta go to work. It's nice out. Uh, a while back, uh, uh, Harvey, uh, he has a channel, uh, Harvey Spooner. Um, a while back, probably about a month ago, he was talking about, uh, he had a little, uh, one of these little engines. They're come in different sizes. But this is a 110, and I think his is a 90 or 50. I don't know. On a little four-wheeler. And uh, he was saying something about, he wasn't sure if the transmission was CVT, you know, like a constant uh, variable drive, I think is what they call them. Or if this was a, uh, you know, just, you know, centrifugal clutch with the re you know, gear reduction. Um, it's just gear to gear uh, with the centrifugal clutch, and you can see. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see down in there, but there's nothing in there. There's like a bunch of journals for gears and stuff, but it's just all it is just a you know a little gear here, a big one here, and it runs out to. I think there's another gear set down in there. And then it goes to the shaft going out. So, uh, yeah. That's all there is to it. But this one here, re the reason why I have the case off of it, or even, you know, when I, I mentioned something on his video about, you know, that it didn't have a, you know, a seat, a variable drive in it, is the case, or the, ah, the engine is sorry guys I just woke up a little bit ago the four wheel I'm putting it in it wasn't made to fit this engine and I'm working on you know, making it fit in there and uh, pretty much I welded a bunch of motor mounts in it and then I couldn't get the engine out without taking the side case off so uh, I ended up yeah, I did fix it up so I can get it out now but I just never got the case cover back on it. And I might have to put a little bit of silicone on this to get it to seal back up. Didn't tear the gasket anywhere. And actually all the bolts for this engine was loose. So that's one of the things, like if you own one of these, you know, you never went over it. You might want to check all the bolts because I think there was actually a couple missing out of this one. And since everything was so loose, the gasket wasn't damaged from taking it apart because it was already kind of running around loose and it was this engine has barely any hours on you can see it's kind of a mess oil everywhere and then uh got a big old toolbox in here uh my uh wife's sister my sister-in-law had a she started like a trucking business a couple years ago. She had just one truck and trailer and you know one driver and uh, she bought you know a bunch of tools in this tool box and uh, the business went under and she needed a place to store a bunch of stuff. I got her washer and dryer in here and a sawzall box of stuff here but anyways I asked her about the toolbox because it's, it's really sweet like the uh, the drawers have and you see here how easy they move have ball bearings and stuff in them and I looked up the box it's like a $300 box with you know because it has the three pieces if it was just a two piece box basically it's like a hundred dollars you know per piece I offered her uh, $200 with the tools in it, which most of the tools are kind of rusty and like they look like they're from random sets. But uh, I like to see about maybe getting it. And she pretty much like said she'd probably sell it for 200 bucks, but at the same time she said she wasn't really sure she wanted to get rid of it. So I think I have to wait till like you know she's kind of running out of money maybe or something my wife was actually the one negotiating it so I don't really know you know 
really what the story is. But, uh, yeah. I like to have it. I got a, like a Harbor Freight box right now. It's, it's kind of similar. I think it's 11 drawer. It has some smaller drawers at the top. I got it for like 150 bucks, but I haven't had any trouble like most people say where they the drawers collapsed or bent or anything. I, it seems pretty solid, but uh, the drawers are hard to move and kind of jam up when you're trying to close them. I'd probably keep you know keep the other box but this in here would be nice to put you know like the heavier items in well well there's the other half of that case it's like so the engine is you know without the gear system in it is basically just a big hollow thing all right well we'll catch you guys later and thanks for watching